There's anybody there with Joe? See if he'd like to give you nine, please. That's just the coffee machine. As long as there's any draft anywhere. No. Because the temperature feels quite constant, doesn't it, all over? I know. <laughs> I don't know why I giggle. I'm sorry. That's okay. Could it be a child? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like. So about five foot five? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Pike. <coughs> oh. I tell you how I can see this man. It's like he's... Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, can you, um, <laughs> please step back for a second. Get to you later. Please. I'm going to turn this off because I think this is what drawn him in. Okay. Well, the fact that he's, he's enjoying looking at the photographs makes you wonder, could he be in a photograph? Well, this is the thing, Johnny, because before I felt him, I said to him, very strong orbit, then that's why I've stood here. Okay. But it's like he's going, you know when someone goes, um, by Christmas time, you get your, oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. It's like that. But he's a bit of a rogue. But not a rogue. I can't describe the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I think we're going to meet this guy later. I think we're going to meet Bit of a party later. person, really. Yeah, Johnny, yeah. you're like your uncle. Yeah. That you told me about? Yeah. Your Uncle Orb? Yeah. Orb. Well, that actually was his name. Um, <laughs> this guy... I, A-U-B for Aubrey. Yeah. Oh. I can imagine that with this guy. I can actually imagine that with him. I really it's like... He's a station master for us at the moment. Or possibly one of the soldiers who travelled through here on his way to Morley Hospital in the Second World War. Would you please come forward? As your soldiers, would you prefer to hear a lady's voice? I'll ask Josie if she can call out <coughs> to you now. And call upon the spirits contained within this building, past and present, to make yourself known to us, please. We come to you with love and light and full respect and are here only to have contact for a brief time. We mean you no harm. We mean you no malice. If you'd just like to make the light move for me, I really would appreciate it from you. The slightest movement would be lovely. Thank you so, so much. Would you like to come closer for us, please? Just a little thank you, thank you again. This is lovely. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I'm gonna hand you over to John now. Hi, thanks for coming close to us. 
I really appreciate that. Could you tell me where you and the United States Army? Were you in the Air Force? If that was you, could you make that brighter, please? Were you in the Air Force? Could you give me your name, rank, and serial number? There was two little um, lights came on then, and we were very quiet. Josie asked why you were in the medical call. You were. Could you make the light go up to yellow, please? Just by even breathing on this device will make it go up in colours. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Well, my name is John. This is Josie. Hi. Uh, we've uh, been onto this station before. And we've learned that uh, a number of uh, people serving in the military came through this station on their way to the military hospital, which was at Morley. Uh, and I wondered, um, were you a patient there? Were you a medic? You're a medic? Do you visit here? Do you stay? Do you visit here on a regular basis? Or do you actually reside in this building? Can you show me a light to tell me if you were from America? Thank you, you were from America. That's wonderful, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you. We've been to a number of um, locations before and we've never been able to record an American's voice. Uh, we have lots of followers uh, and friends in America that will be very impressed, especially as we're in England, and we have a, a great respect for our American soldiers and friends here. I wonder whether you could perhaps let us hear your voice. Very, very cold. Ah, right, we're now picking up on the train. We'll give it a few seconds. Sorry about the train. Are you still with us, sir? I'm assuming it's, sir. Could you... Thank you. Could you, um... Possibly, if I go through the alphabet, could you tell us where we're right? Could you show the lights so that we hear, or rather you give an indication for the first initial of your Christian name? A B C D E. Okay. As it went to E, I have a name come straight to my head, and it's Eugene. I hope I pronounced it right. Am I correct, please? Eugene. There's a slight tapping uh, behind the camera. That's not tapping. That's you, Eugene. I'm very pleased to uh, make you well, to, to meet you. I'm quite surprised that you come through so strong. So excuse my voice. Uh, it's quite stunning. Um, Eugene, that's wonderful. Uh, what year were you here? If I can give you some years, starting with 1942. If when I get to the correct year, could you please show the lights again for us? 1942. 1943. 1944. Thank you. 44. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. That um, we, yeah, we understand um, that the hospital was actually commissioned uh, by the American military uh, around 1944. Uh, am I right in assuming that you were in the USAAF? Were you in the United States Army Air Force? You were. Whoa. Wow, thank you. Um, wow. Were you um, ground crew or were you pilot? Were you um, a bombardier? I was bombardier. Okay. Were you a gunner? Were you in, 
communications. Your communications. That's wonderful. Well, I've got something. <laughs> I've got something really surprising to tell you. Josie was also in the army, in the British army. Look at him. That's wonderful. And she was also in communications. She was in the Royal Signal Corps. I certainly was. Yes, she was. So we're very, very pleased to meet you. That's fantastic. Oh, wow, well, that's amazing. Eugene, did you, um, did you marry anybody in England? Were you married back in the States? Could I try and um, inquire as to your age, please? I can, okay. Um, were you, you were over 20? Were you under 20? You're under 20. Wow. Okay. Joseph, just think of a name to ask you. So if I go back from 20, could you give me some lights to say uh, what age you were, please? You can. 19? 18? 18? Bless your heart, you're 18 years old. Wow. That must have been a, a really interesting, exciting time to come across to England. Martha. Joseph just asked me, do you know a Martha? Okay. Is Martha a relative? She is. Could you uh, make the lights go up a bit higher for us, please? Just to confirm, because you're coming through very strong. Can you make the go up? Yeah, the... yeah, could you go to the red? Come on, go. Well proud of you. Such a young man. Well, thank you, Eugene. Um, Trying to think what I can ask you now. Um, <laughs> Taking you by surprise. Yeah, you've taken me by surprise. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Are there many spirits here with you in this building, Eugene? Whoa. There are. There are many, many, many spirits. <laughs> okay. Would anybody else like to come forward to, to talk to us? That's wonderful. Well, please, Someone that's fantastic. Please, please bring your friends through. Come on through, guys. Let's, let's, let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. Would anybody else like to give me their name? Or would anybody else like to tap on the table? Would you like to tap up one of your favourite songs? Uh, what would you like? Uh, Glenn Miller? <laughs> Can you tap to that? Okay. Well, don't be shy. We don't mean any disrespect. We're just here to, to be your friends, just to communicate with you. Is there any? Are there any questions that you have of us? Eugene, um, Josie has just asked me to ask you. Was Martha your mother? She was. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Eugene. Is your mother with you? Or have, you or have you found your mother? Is your mother with you? That's wonderful. Tap. Yeah, that's wonderful. We just heard a tap uh, to my right hand side. Was that you, Eugene? Wow. Thank you very much. You're welcome to come and sit beside me. You're welcome to come and sit beside me. It'd be nice to, to feel your presence. Yeah. You're, you're a nice, smart young guy, I can tell. I can tell. Did you like the ladies here in Norfolk? <laughs> you did. Did you have a girlfriend here? Mm. Were you shy? I bet the guys teased you as well, didn't they? <laughs> I knew as much. I knew they were, but guys always do that. That's the guy thing, and you know that now. You know that. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's really good of you to come through. That's fine. Um, usually, do, do you know a Bertie? Mm. 
You do know a Bertie. Okay, okay. I, I don't know who Bertie is to you. I just had this name, and I didn't think that Bertie was a, Mary, a very American name. But um, that was a name that came through to me. We had somebody in the dining area here um, that was making Josie giggle. She was laughing quite a lot. Was that Bertie? That was Bertie. He's a bit of a character, isn't he? That's interesting. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, th thank you. And, and Bertie, if you'd like to come close. Whoa. Hello, Bertie. <laughs> Hi. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> you're, giving, you're giving Joseph the giggles again, Bertie. <laughs> you've, got a great, you've got a great sense of humour. We appreciate you coming through to speak to us this evening. Oh dear. It's really wonderful. Um, Bertie, would, would you like to tap the table a few times, tap out a tune, uh, see how high you can make these lights go? Is there any, any spirits in this room with us at the moment? Okay. I take it that you come here with a good intent. Can you confirm that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Because we, we're kind people, and we don't mean you any harm at all, and we ask exactly for the same from you guys. Uh, just mutual respect for each other. Uh, we're not here to humiliate you in any way at all, just to, to help prove to your friends, maybe your family, that exists back in the States, uh, that might want some messages from you. Um, has one of you guys, has one of you suffered with, with a head injury? Can you take that off of Josie, please, and just answer the question? Okay. Um, sorry to say this, guys, but did somebody suffer from burns? Okay. 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 It's got to move back. Okay, can you move back, please? Can you move back from Josie? Please take that away because you, you are affecting her. Please take it off her now. Come on, move back please. Move back. Thank you. Oh, bless him. I just keep saying, not my time, not my time. No. I know it wasn't your time, sweetheart. I know it wasn't your time. Oh, God. Now, was this Bertie that I'm talking to? Is it still Bertie? Oh, I and Bertie, was it you that had these horrific injuries? We understand, Bertie. Now, Bertie, would you like to move on to the light of spirit? Because we're going to help you. Or would you prefer to stay here? So if you can show lights, if you'd like to move on to spirit, we can move you on. And you can be with your loved ones, you can be with your family, with your parents and your pets. We'll only do this with your consent. Would you like us to move you on? Or would you like to stay here? If you can deal with the pain and the medics, you, you can deal with the pain. It just gets bad occasionally. I think it's a case okay. that he was happy. You know, even though I'm getting that mm. awful, mm. he was still, mm. it's like he was g everybody else up. Okay. That's okay. why he's here. Okay. I think he's here through choice. Yeah. yeah. I think he's already moved on, do you yeah. know, but I think he's here through choice. Okay. okay. It's just that he got a bit too close, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Bertie, look, okay, we respect that you want to stay here. We also, uh, what Josie feels, that you're here to give courage to the other guys. Anyway. And we respect you for that. That's a very, it's a wonderful thing to do. And uh, we do respect you for that, and thank you. That's wonderful. Well, Bertie, thank you very much for coming through. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very impressed, thank you. I, I hope there might be a chance that we've recorded your voice. Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic, Bertie. Um, I did I get so much? That's why, Johnny, because it was in there where they were, 
mm. waiting. Mm. That's why they it left was, it was why they... So why did the others go again? Okay, Rita. Hi, this is this is your office, I presume, or parlour time. I'm just wondering whether you were paperwork or whether you were parlour maid. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm going to ask you a few questions, my lovely. Okay. I don't think this... Okay. Shut up, Josie, now I'm there. Oh, she's definitely here. Can you feel that, Johnny? Can you feel yeah. that energy drawing yeah. on you? Because I can. Yeah. Rita, are you with me, my lovely? Thought you were. Hi, how are you? You're okay. That's lovely. I just wanted to thank you for looking after Katie and being there for her. You're a very kind soul and we really appreciate it. And would you stop now, please, for me, Rita, my lovely? Thank you. I wonder if she knows Bertie. That'd be interesting to find out. Yeah. Rita, we met Bertie earlier. Do you know this gentleman? Could you make it stronger for me, Rita? And stronger again, please, my lovely. Come closer to me, it's okay. Lovely, you do know Bertie. What a lovely soul he is. Okay, and now can you stop, please? Can you stop, my lovely? Thank you. Do you know what? This woman's Mancunian. She? Now, I know that sounds completely out of stock here, okay. but as I'm talking to you now, I want to talk like that, you know. I don't know why, but I kind of want to talk like that, like I'm Rita. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know, it's like, oh, I really like, like, <sighs> Rita, were you born in Norfolk? Were you born in Norfolk? You were born in Norfolk? Okay, and stop please. Were your parents born in Norfolk, Rita? Can you make that stronger for me, my lovely? So they weren't born in Norfolk? Ah, oh, so that's why I'm getting your accent. Ah. What a lovely woman this is, Johnny Lemon. She's really lovely, but she's really broad. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, dear. Sorry. Oh, he's not far away, is he? Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any questions you want me to ask her, Johnny? I'd, 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 like to, I'd like to find out what her connection was with this station. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was she in any way related to any of the station masters, or was she here... Um, if she knows Bertie, does she know him because he's around, or does she know him because she shared the same era? Okay. Rita, did you connect with Bertie in spirit or here? In spirit? No. Okay, my lovely, and stop. It wasn't in spirit, anyway, so it must have been here. Okay, I so see. I wonder whether she helped in some way and they became a um, a partnership around the war okay. time. Okay. Rita, are you, can you come on a bit closer? I just need to connect with you a little bit. Thank you so much. A little bit more for me. Okay. Rita, were you anything to do with the clerical work here at the station? If so, can you continue, please? You were. Thank you very much. Is this how you connected with Bertie? You knew Bertie? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, bless your heart. And now can you stop, please? Can you stop now, my love? She met him here. That's lovely. I don't think it was like a... A romance thing, but I think she actually met it. She's something to do with the paperwork in here, and that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Really? It does, yeah. The offices. This yeah. is the parlour where the station master was, bless yeah. him. Yeah. That's why I felt to doing busyness. Did Bertie work with her? Did he help her with his, with the with that side of her? With the clerical side? I don't think so. I think Bertie was um, military. Military. He was injured. He was but military. Then it, but then again, if they met on that level. Ah. 
um, maybe the, the, although there was um, certain paperwork stamped on behalf of yeah. the rail company as such, yeah. he would have been authorised on a military yes, level. So maybe yes, it was military um, mixing with civilian. Okay. That's a possibility. That's how they could have you know, met from there. Cut right to the quick with this, Johnny. Don't muck about with that. Yep. <laughs> Rita, was Johnny correct in what he's just stated? Can you make it stronger for me, please? I know I've cut corners, my lovely, but we're running short. Yes, I'm stronger again, so John can see that. I'm stronger again, Rita. You little diamond. Okay, my lovely, and stop now, please. So, I wonder if she knew Bertie before he was injured, or after he was injured. My gut feeling is that it was after he was injured, that he came back, he was treated for his illnesses, as is my thoughts. Okay, carry on. Um, he was treated mean? for his illnesses. Yeah. He then came back here as a meet and greet service for the soldiers coming back, or the Air Force coming back. Keep going, Johnny. And that um, he was there to inspire them, to show that people can survive horrific injuries. Um, so my feeling is, is that's when she met him, she respected him, fell in love you with him. Bang on, look at this. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Rita, we cannot thank you enough for this information. Thank you so much. I'd rather confirm in our thoughts. Thank you, Rita. You're a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. And just keep an eye on Katie for us. Make sure she doesn't overwork and stuff. Why don't you do that for me? And we'll come back and see you again, my lovely, because I know you're so happy. <laughs> you just keep saying yes all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, and now can you stop, please, for me? Come on, Rita, stop now for me. We've got a connection. It's lovely. Yes. Isn't she lovely? Yeah. She but the accent really was so broad. Yeah. yeah. Really broad. Oh, I'm going to go on Coronation Street. That's how I felt. <laughs> but then, a bit like Elsie Tannerish. I can't describe it. I can't mm. describe it. Well, I got this feeling she's quite a strong character. Oh, very strong. Yeah, I think that was quite nice because... Black patent belt here. Okay. Like that. I've got a black patent belt. Not a hugging skirt, but one that showed a figure. She wasn't a small woman. She's kind of like the classic hourglass, a real woman. Yeah. Not a stick insect, you know? Yeah. But she's an organiser, she's intelligent. And you know, in some ways, I, I don't mean to say this, but she reminded me of my mother. Okay. Because that's the kind of thing, the kind of my mum was a very highly intelligent woman, believe it or not. <laughs> she really was. And um, that's the kind of symbol I get with Rita. It's just the accent. Okay. And I really felt like I wanted, you know, to talk like that all the time. Well, that's probably well, made a better connection one. with her, to be honest. That was brilliant. That's probably made a better connection with her. Oh, she's lovely. She's she, she is. I've been here many, many years, but I do think she's kind of looking after right, Come on, use our energy. Use our collective energy. Just for a short burst. All the way to break, please. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I'm trying really hard. Yeah, come on, Bertie. You can help as well. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, Bertie, Rita, Eugene, everyone, pull together, make these lines go. Got, got an orange, Johnny. Come on. Got an orange. Come on, please, get a red. Right. Whoa! Yeah. Thank you. That was That's fantastic. Epic. Thank you so much. Much respect to you. Thank you. Wow. That is brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it?